when you have to make a multicolor vinyl sticker without a printer and you only have a vinyl cutter, we know how challenging it can be to learn how to layer colors on top of each other. And whenever we have to do an installation, this is the best way to do it, by using the registration marks and sometimes using the wet method. But of course, after you practice, it gets easier and easier. But what happens when you sell a multicolor sticker and you have to send it and have it ready to be applied on the surface? Keep in mind, the customer doesn't know what a registration mark is or how to even use it. All he wants is his sticker ready to apply. In this video, we will show you how to layer colors dry application and also give you some tips on how to ship them. So this is how we set up a multi-colored sticker when we are going to do wet application. And this is how we set up a sticker dry application. And there's two different scenarios when we only do this. The first one is when we sell the decals online. And the second reason is when we just want to apply the decal when we get to the place either due by the weather or other circumstances. However, when we're going to do the application, we rarely do this process, but it's still very important for you to learn how to layer colors in layers dry application. When we're doing the application, this is called plant sticker, and this is all the colors we're gonna use and the order that we're going to apply them. First, we will do the yellow color, and then the rest of the other colors. However, when you are going to apply the layers dry and you're going to do that at home, it's going to be completely different. And this is how it's going to look like. Now, when you're going to layer all the colors at home and dry application and have it ready and set to apply, it is called preset sticker. And notice that the yellow color, now it's going to be the last layer. See the difference? Now I'm going to show you how to make a preset sticker and notice that there's two different backgrounds here, but we're going to be working on the one on the left side that you are seeing here. This is the one that we're going to preset and I'm going to show you how you should do it. When you're going to make a preset sticker, you got to consider leaving enough space for the other colors when you layer them. And a lot of people think that we are wasting a lot of material when they see all these big gaps, but we're not wasting it we're just considering the space in between the other colors and when you are making a preset sticker there's no other way you have to leave those gaps and we're going to show you why now, after you weed out all your colors, it is time to add the transfer on the first layer. However, it is very important that you spot the first layer and then the last layer, as I am showing you on the graphic here. For this sticker, we will start with the white one, then the black one, and then the last will be the yellow color. And this is how the sticker will look like after it's been preset. Now, for this other sticker, we're going to start with the black one, then the white one, and then the yellow color. And that is what is important for you to spot the first and then the last layer. We secure the sticker with tape and then we apply the transfer. Then we expose the registration marks to layer the second color. And then we secure the second layer with tape on the table. Now it is time to combine the first and second color by using the registrations. And before we apply the first to the second color, we're going to place two pieces of tape in the center so that way we can focus on one side and then the other side. Then we lift off the first side and use the cutting knife to cut through the paper. Now this is an old video and notice the way I'm using the squeegee. Now the best way to avoid leaving too many bubbles on your sticker is squeegeeing side by side instead of doing it like a scratch off like the way I'm doing it here. And after we're finished, we finally get ready to layer the third and last color, which is going to be the yellow one. And now we expose the registrations and secure the third color into the table. And we also put two pieces of tape in the center and we work on one side and then the other side. Now this application method, we use it a lot when we make yard signs and car magnets. If you haven't watched our videos, you will notice that we like to focus on one side and then the other side. This also prevents leaving too many bubbles. It is also the safest way to do it when layering colors. When you decide to do it all at once and you start from the top to the bottom, that might make some tension and might wrinkle your transfer and that will definitely make some bubbles on your sticker. 
So the safest way for you to do it, even if it's a small decal, is to focus on one side and then the other side. After we finish, we can finally remove the registration marks that we use to layer the colors. And now our sticker is ready just to be applied on surface. And this is how it looked like after we apply it. And again, we only do this process when we sell decals online, like on eBay. Another great tip that I'm going to give you when selling decals online is about shipping and how you're supposed to send them. Now, this took us a lot of tries, and this is how we learn how to ship them. You must fold your decal on the upper side and just place it on the shipping tube and that simple and this will prevent a lot of wrinkles on your decal and to get bad reviews now pay attention and i'm gonna play it again this is how you fold it and place it on the shipping tube well guys this is it for this video we hope that you gathered some new information we appreciate if you give us a like subscribe and also if you share this video with your friends and other social media we will see you guys again pretty soon thank you